the white Yajurveda of the Ayah 5, 43 verses. Body of Agne art thou, thee for Vishnu, body of Soma art thou, thee for Vishnu, thou art the guest's reception, thee for Vishnu, thee for the Soma bringing falcon, thee for Vishnu, thee for the giver of abundance, Agne, thee for Vishnu, birthplace art thou of Agne, ye are sprinklers, thou art Urvathsi, thou art Ayu, thou art Pururavas, I rub and churn thee with Gayatri meter. I rub and churn thee with the Trishtub meter. I rub and churn thee with the Jagati meter. Be ye for us one minded, be one thoughted, free from spot and stain. Harm not the sacrifice, harm not the sacrifices, Lord. Be kind to us this day, omniscient ones, preserver from the curse, son of the Rishis. Agne is active, having entered Agne. Here for us, kindly with fair worship, offer oblation to the gods with care unceasing. Sabaha! For him who flies around and rushes onward, I take thee for Temu Napat, the mighty, the very strong, of all surpassing vigor, strength of the gods, inviolate, inviolable, sterile art thou. The strength that turns the curse away, uncursed and never to be cursed. May I go straight to truth, place me in comfort, O Agne, guardian of the vow, O guardian of the vow, in thee, whatever form there is of thine, may that same form be here on me, on thee be every form of the mine. O Lord of vows, let our vows be united. May Diksha's Lord allow my consecration. May holy fervors, Lord, approve my fervor. May every stock of thine wax full and strengthen for Indra, Eka Thanavid, God Soma. May Indra grow in strength through thee. May Indra, mayest thou grow strong. Increase us, friends, with strength and mental vigor. May all prosperity be thine, God Soma. May I attain the solemn Soma pressing. May long for wealth come forth for strength and fortune. Let there be truth for those whose speech is truthful. To heaven and earth be adoration offered. That noblest body which is thine, O Agne, laid in the lowest deep, encased in iron, hath chased the awful word, the word of terror, Sabaha, that noblest, encased in silver, etc. Sabaha, that noblest, with gold around it, etc. Sabaha, for me thou art, the home of the afflicted. For me thou art the gathering place of riches. Protect me from the woe of destitution. Protect me from the state of perturbation. May Agna know thee, he whose name is Bas, go, Agna, and Geras with the name of Ayu. Thou whom this earth containeth, down I lay thee with each and violet holy name thou bearest. Thou whom the second earth etc. Thou whom, the earth, third earth, etc. The furtherer, for the gods' delight, a foe subduing lioness art thou, be fitted for the gods, a foe subduing lioness art thou, be purified for gods, a foe subduing lioness art thou, adorn thyself for gods. Indra shout, guard thee in the front with Vasus, the wise one, guard thee from the rear with Rudras, the thoughtful swift guard thee, on the right with fathers, the omnific guard thee, leftward with Adityas. This heated water I eject and banish from the sacrifice. Thou art a lioness. All hail. Thou art a lioness, winning Adityas. All hail. Thou art a lioness, winning Brahmins and nobles. All hail. Thou art a lioness that wins fair offspring, win abundant wealth. All hail. Alinus art thou, bring the gods hither for him who offers sacrifice, all hail. To living creatures, thee, firm art thou, steady thou the earth, firm seated art thou, steady thou the air, movously set art thou, steady the sky, Agnes completion art thou, the priest of him, the lofty priest, well skilled in hymns, harness their spirits, Yea, 
harness their holy thoughts, he only knowing works, assigns their priestly tasks. Yea, lofty is the praise of Savitar the god. All hail. Forth through this, all strode Vishnu, thrice his foot planted, and the whole was gathered in his footsteps dust. All hail. Rich in sweet food be ye, and rich in milch kine, with fertile pastures, fair to do men's service. Both these worlds, Vishnu, hast thou stayed asunder and firmly fixed, the earth with pegs around it. Heard by the gods, ye twain, the gods proclaim it. Go eastward, O ye twain, proclaiming worship. Swerve ye not, bear the sacrifice straight upward. To your own cow pen speak, ye godlike dwellings. Speak not away my life, speak not away my children. On the earth's summit, here, may ye be joyful. Now will I tell the mighty deeds of Vishnu, of him who measured out the earthly regions, who propped the highest place of congregation, thrice setting down his foot and widely striding. But O Vishnu thee, either from heaven or from earth, O Vishnu, are Vishnu from the vast wide airs mid-region. Fill both thy hands full with abundant riches, and from the right and from the left bestow them, for Vishnu thee, for this mighty deed is Vishnu lauded, like some wild beast, dread prowling, mountain roaming, he within whose three wide extended paces all living creatures have their habitation. Thou art the frontlet for the brow of Vishnu, ye are the corners of the mouth of Vishnu, thou art the needle for the work of Vishnu, thou art the firmly fastened knot of Vishnu, to Vishnu thou belongest, thee for Vishnu, by impulse of God Savitar, I take thee with arms of Asphins, and with hands of Pushan, thou art a woman. Here I cut the necks of Rakshasas away. Mighty art thou, mighty the sound thou makest. Utter thy mighty sounding voice to Indra, fiend killing, charm, charm destroying voice of Vishnu. Here I cast out that charm of magic power, which stranger or housemate for me hath buried. Here I cast out the charm of magic power, buried for me by equal or unequal. Here I cast out the charm that hath been buried for me by non-relation or relation. I cast the charm of magic out. Self-ruler art thou, conquering foes. Ruler forever art thou, killing enemies. Men's ruler art thou, slaying fiends. All ruler, killing foes art thou. I sprinkle you whom Vishnu owns, killers of fiends and evil charms. I lay down you whom Vishnu loves, killers of fiends and wicked charms. I scatter you whom Vishnu loves, killers of fiends and wicked charms. You too whom Vishnu loves, who kill fiends and ill charms, do I lay down. You too whom Vishnu loves, who kill fiends and wicked charms. To Vishnu thou belongest, ye are Vishnu's. By impulse of a god Savitar, I take thee with arms of Aspens. With the hands of Pushan, thou art a woman. Here I cut the necks of Rakshasas away. Barley art thou. Bar off from us our haters, bar our enemies. Thee for heaven, thee for earth, thee for air's region. Pure be the worlds. The father's dwelling places, thou art the habitation of the fathers. Prop heaven, fill full the air. On earth stand firmly. Yutana, offspring, the Murukas, plant thee. Mitra and Maruna, firm upholding. I close thee in, thou winner of the Brahmins, winner of nobles and abundant riches. Strengthen ye Brahmins, strengthen thou the nobles, strengthen our vital power, strengthen our offspring. Firm set art thou, firm be the sacrificer within this home, with set offspring and with cattle. O heaven and earth, be ye filled full of fatness. Indra's mat art thou, shelter of all people, lover of song. May these our songs encompass thee on every side, strengthening thee of lengthened life. May they be dear delights to thee. Thou art the needle for the work of Indra. Thou art the firmly fastened knot of Indra. Indra's art thou. Thou art the Visvadevas. All present art thou, carrying off a relation-bearing priest art thou. Thou art the swift, the very wise. Tukta art thou, who knoweth all. Thou art the yearning one, the sage. Angara, Gambara art thou. Aid-seeker art thou, worshipping. 
cleanser art thou, the cleansing place. Kresanu, sovereign lord art thou, thou art the Pavamana of the assembly, thou art the Woken, ever moving forward. Swept clean art thou, preparer of ablations, thou art the seed of law. Heaven's light and luster, the sea art thou, of all embracing compass. Acha art thou, who hath one foot to bear him, thou art the dragon of the depths of ocean. Speech art thou, thou the Sadas, thou art Indra's, doors of the sacrifice. Do not distress me, Lord, ruler of the pathways. Lead me onward in this God reaching path. May I be happy. Look ye upon me with the eye of Mithra. O Agnes, ye receivers of oblations, are by allotted name, allotted together. Protect me, Agnes, with your glittering army. Fill me with riches, Agnes, ye my keepers. To you be adoration. Do not harm me, thou art the light that wears all forms and figures, serving the general host of gods as kindler. Thou, Soma, wilt withhold thy wide protection from body wounding, body wounding hatreds shown by others. All hail. Let the swift graciously enjoy the butter. All hail. My goodly paths lead us to riches. Agne, thou God who knowest every sacred duty, remove the sin that makes us stray and wander. Most ample adoration will we bring thee. Wide room and comfort may this Agne give us, and go before us cleaving down our foemen. May he win booty in the fight for booty. May he quell foes in his triumphant onset. O Vishnu, stride thou widely forth. Give ample room for our abode. Drink better, homed and better. Still speed on the sacrifices, Lord. All hail. To thee, God Savitar, belongs his Soma. Guard him securely. Let not demons harm thee. Now hast thou joined gods as God. God Soma, men, have I joined here through abundant riches. All hail. From Varuna's noose am I delivered. O Agne, guardian of the vow. O guardian of the vow, on thee, whatever form of thine path been, may that same form be upon thee. Whatever form of mine hath been on thee, may that be here on me. O Lord of vows, our vows have been accomplished. Iksha's Lord hath proved my consecration and holy fervors. Lord, allowed my fervor. O Vishnu, stride thou widely forth. Make ample room for our abode. Drink butter, homed in butter. S still speed on the sacrifices, Lord. All hail. I have passed others, not approached to others on the near side of those that were more distant and farther than the nearer have I found thee. So for the worship of the gods, with gladness we welcome thee, God, sovereign of the forest. Let the gods welcome thee for the gods' service. For Vishnu thee, plant guard. Axe, do not harm it. Graze, not the sky. Harm not mid air. Be in accordance with the earth. For this well-sharpened axe hath led thee forth to great felicity. Hence, with a hundred branches, God, lord of the forest, Grow thou up. May we grow spreading with the hundred branches. And so the etc. I'm not sure if there is more to those verses, but I do see in verse 8 that noblest, you know, five dots. That implies like whole paragraphs, but um, and that noblest length. Uh, you know, the, the four dots encased in silver. So it's five dots, like a whole line or something. I'm, I'm not sure that that's supposed to be, but one of the things we come across here is this um, idea of what the Golden Dawn calls the assumption of God forms. In Sufism, uh, you don't limit the names of God to those forms, but you use those um, names in what would be called sympathetic magic, not seher, if they're a Muslim Sufi, but, you know, um, and of course, you know, um, you know, there's shining army there, so there's a spiritual war going on, so the, the parts of oneself that are fiends, you deal with that, um, and I'm not 
not saying that a person should fight somebody physically just because they are of a wrongful belief. There's got to be more 